Hello there guys, it's Ibu Blue Count here, back again on a video and today I'm going to do what if my academy after super part 23 and it's the finale, hope you enjoy it. So last part we covered the aftermath of the Frieza invasion and how everyone moved on with their lives and because all of one left earth and Shigaki turned good the league of villains sort of was pushed aside because there is no leader and after Shigaki gave them the location or where maybe they are hiding they got captured Shigaraki was forgiven for everything and he started working on mortally with Sir Night Eye plus he have a thing with Miracle so and I think that's it for Samai let's begin so a couple of days has passed since the last part and while Deku and Shigaki are hanging out, Deku asks him what will he do next. Shigaki tell him, maybe I'm going to settle down. Deku reply, really? You're still young, you can do whatever you want. Shigaki tell him, true, but I already did whatever I want. I reached my goals. The next one is just to make a family of my own. Deku smirk and tell him, so when you are going to ask the question for your funny girlfriend? Shigaki sketch back with his head and tell him, hopefully before next year. Deku tell him, really? Isn't that a bit too soon? Shigaki tell him, kinda, but I want to marry her before he arrive. Deku tell him, who's he? Shigaki face turned a bit red and he laughed nervously and tell him, well, he will be alive before next year. Deku tell him, be alive. Then it clicked. Oh my god, don't tell me. Mirko is pregnant? Shigaki nods slightly. Then Deku tell him, so that's why you returned. Shigaki shook his head and tell him, we already planned to come here. Her being pregnant was not the reason I come back, but maybe it's going to be the reason I stay. I don't want her to injure herself doing hero work, so I kind of need your help in that topic. She's uh, a strong woman to say the least. Deku laugh and tell him, well, we are sane, so we are attracted to strong women. Shigaki tell him, you didn't tell me about that part. Deku scratch back with his head and tell him, yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot. Well, since you're here, maybe I'm going to call the rest of the gang. Plus, we should tell them about the news. Shigaraki nod, and after some phone calls, the gang meet again. And of course, after hearing the news, they congratulate him. But when they are in the middle of congratulating him, all of them sense several dark keys coming toward the earth. And one of them is really familiar to Shigaraki. Then he tells them, he's back. All for one is back. And all of them are shocked. All for one never had this big of a power before. So they follow the ship and it land close to the city, but far enough to people to not see it. So the ship land, but this time there is no Frieza soldiers or what's left of them. There is only all for one and five other Nomus and a doctor. So the group land close to him and make themselves known. All for one smirk and tell them finally the people I'm looking for. Thank you for coming to greet me. You make my job really easy, just kill you on the spot. Deku smirk and tell him you kill us this is a joke right sure i know that you are stronger than before but so are we all for one smirk and tell him don't get cocky kid let me show you my real power all for one power up and everyone got scared then deku said what he can hide his presence since when then all for one point behind them and tell them i think that would answer your question they look behind them and see miracle standing there but something is off they can sense another presence behind her it's invisible girl they ask her what she's doing she replied just my job Matt said her job, then it hit him. Three years ago, they suspect there was a traitor among them, but they never suspect to be one of the students. Then Omar tell them that everyone is shocked. All of one is laughing. Then he tell All Might, it took you way too long to figure that out. Now it's too late. And, and by the way, Invisible Girl is holding a blast at Miruko's face. Everyone is panicking, especially Shigaraki. Both his kid and his girlfriend are in danger right now, and he can't do anything. Then a blast hit Miruko on her leg, forcing her to go on one knee, and that left Invisible girl open, Baku fly at top speed toward her, kicking her away from Miracle, then he fly at her and fire a key blast point blank, killing her in the process. And by the way, the one who shot the blast it was Bakugo. And before you tell me that Baku cannot do that and will not kill Invisible Girl, remember this Bakugo was trained by Piccolo, and Piccolo showed no mercy, especially for traitors. So, Shigiraki was about to yell at Baku of what he done, then he realized that he did that to protect her, so he just thanked him, plus the blast only left a scratch. Then everyone looked at all for one and tell them, just I thought, useless. 
after he check on a miracle shigaki step in and tell them i will deal with all for one you guys deal with the new moves they nod then everyone turns to persane oh well the one who can't transform but the others still have the kaioken shigaki fly top speed toward all for and punch him in the face see him flying but when he'd follow him to land another hit all for one dodge and punch shigaki in the face and the punch did hurt shigaki a bit even though he's a super saiyan all for one can hurt him then the new moves power up from nowhere and their powers are just suppressing the super saiyans everyone is shocked what's going on here since when the new moves are this powerful all for one saw the look on disbelief on their faces and tell them by this point i think you're asking yourself how did the new moves become this powerful or how did i become this powerful well it's simple after the fight especially after i saw Baku go going super saiyan and the information i gathered from invisible girl that some humans will be able to go super saiyan or what you call it but they need the special gene the saiyan gene but none of us have it but if you remember correctly we did capture one of you that have it for our briefs when you are unconscious we did take some of your blood so we did some experiments using overhaul research and we were able to extract the saiyan gene from it sure it took me jengak to makia and some of my new moves but in the end i was able to create some new moves that were able to go super saiyan by the way thanks izuku modoria for your teaching you explain with details how you were able to go super saiyan and invisible girl relayed the information to me so thank you everyone cursed under their breath if they only found out about invisible girl earlier this will not happen but overall was not able to figure out one thing how to reach super saiyan 2 so one bra and deku go super saiyan 2 the new moves are easy picking but they weren't able to finish them off they are just too durable and they can regenerate plus each time they get hurt they get stronger because of the zenkais then bago tell them i have a technique that might work on them he went back to super saiyan he took a deep breath and yelled super kaioken everyone was shocked plus bako was working on this for quite a while so he's able to push kaioken to let's say times four so let's assume he's equal to deku or maybe just below him with this transformation he's stronger than him but he can only use it for short bursts but even with that it's still a big help or for curse under all for one curse under his breath he didn't expect them to have this much power and shigaki tell him you're done all for one all for one tell him as if and he starts screaming and a golden aura appear around him and yes before you ask he did turn super saiyan and the reason all for one is this strong let's say he lost a bit of his sanity doing the training after knowing about zenkai's he always break his body to get stronger faster than the others all the rest of the new moves sure he was hurting the new moves pretty bad during the training but him he was sticking it to the whole other level he was consumed by rage all his plans that he worked for 300 years for just got evaporated by Dago and the rest of super saiyans so he took drastic measures to make sure that he will kill them so he punched Shigaki in the face sent him flying toward the group everyone is at a last all for one is just too powerful for them Bara and Dago even think of using but before they start Shigaki stop them and tell them I told you all for one is mine Dago tell him he's crazy he's way too strong for him Shigaki not tell him yeah you're right he's too strong for me but thanks for Bako I just figured out something if he was able to combine super saiyan with Kai can then he turned to Deku and his eyes are glowing yellow and he start getting bigger and his power skyrocketed then when the dust clear Shigaki show his new form Super Saiyan 4 but I don't think they will call it Super Saiyan 4 I think like Ikari Super Saiyan would work better and everyone is in our Shigaki's new form and power he's way stronger than Super Saiyan 2 Deku even theorized that he is as strong as him in his Super Saiyan rage form and Deku asked him is he okay can he control himself Shigaki turned and smirk and tell him of course I am and I'll be right back. He fly at all for one and stop right in front of him. All for one at first was scared. Then he told him, "Don't get cocky because you just got a new form. I'm still stronger than you." Shigaki smirk and tell him, "Let's see about that." All for one got enraged and start punching Shigaraki. And after he stop, Shigaraki start laughing. All for one ask him why is he laughing. Shigaraki reply, "Your punches just tickled like a tiny feather." All for one yell, "Damn you!" and try to punch him again. But Shigaraki responded by kicking him in the gut, sending him flying toward the ground. Meanwhile, the others are dealing with the Nomos. Even though they cannot kill them, they can tire them out. Eventually, they are backed into a corner. All for one starts cursing, "Damn it! This is not supposed to happen. I should be stronger than you. Why? Just why?" Shigaraki tell him a simple we cherish each other so we can go stronger together you on the other hand use the others to get stronger and that have its limits and before you think i'm not going to arrest you you're gone too far so you have to deal with me so he put his hand together and start charging a kamehameha all of one thought this is the end then he saw the numu and realized something he still have that quirk he fly at top speed toward the numus and touch all of them and tell the fighters i'm not 
Sultan. Then a massive surge of power come from them or him. Orphan just fuse himself with all the new moods and his power is monstrous. And for some reason he's have a slightly red color. She going to fire the already charged Kamehameha at them but Orphan just simply deflected like it was nothing. Then it hit Deku slightly red hair. Five new moods that have a power of Super Saiyan with all front that have a Super Saiyan. Don't tell me he was able to go Super Saiyan God but his hair is not fully red and we can still sense his key. Maybe because it's not pure heart. It's not the time for that. What we can do? Shigaki right now can't beat him. We need a Super Saiyan God to beat him but we only have five Saiyans. Then it hit him. Mirko's pregnant. Maybe that will work. He tell the others his plan even though it's risky and maybe it's not going to work but this is their only chance for winning. So all the Saiyans and Mirko fly a bit far away from the group and they start doing the ritual. Meantime the others start buying in time for them using all the techniques in their disposal from the solar flare to combine attack to just push him off and of course he was able to land some hits on them and they are quite powerful so luckily dandy was nearby each time one of them get hurt he would teleport heal him then teleport away and after a minute everyone can see a bright red light from afar then they start asking themselves did they succeed and their question was asked when the light fly at top speed toward off one punch him in the face sending him flying toward the sky then it's revealed that the red light is deco in his god form he told them sorry about that you guys i can can deal with the rest. So Deku fly at top speed toward all for one and Deku is amazed about the power. It's like he's not in his body anymore but he's getting used to this new power and he's getting stronger. So he starts his fight with all for one and of course all for one was shocked about this new power. Then he growled at Deku and tell him I don't care which type of hair color that you have. I will kill you all. Deku smirk and tell him you have it backward. I'll make sure I will send you strict to Hifal and they resumed their fight. At first they were equal, but when Deku start learning more about his power and he start getting stronger doing that, he quickly overwhelmed all for one. That was a mouthful, but all for one keep regenerating faster and getting stronger as well because of the Zenkai's, but Deku still have a clear advantage, but he isn't able to deal the final blow. All for one regeneration is just too much. Then Deku can sense everyone's key starts spiking up. He knows what they are trying to do, so he played all for one using a solar flare and kick him up in the sky. Then everyone power up to their max. Deku full power Super Saiyan God, Shigaraki full power Ikari Super Saiyan, Bara Super Saiyan 2, Bakugo using Super Kaioken and they put everything into a giant Kamehameha and when all for one can see again he saw a massive blue beam coming toward him. He tried to fire his own beam to deflect it but it's just too powerful. It completely engulfed him and killed him but for safe measures everyone keep firing the Kamehamehas for a bit longer to make sure that nothing was left of him. After that everyone powered down except for Deku we still have a bit more time in Super Saiyan God. So he start testing his new power to the fullest. Then they realize something. The spaceship that they come in is trying to run away. Then they remember the doctor is still there and after seeing how strong is all for one and if they leave the doctor alone or alive he will cause many problems. They decide to finish him off and when I mean by they I mean Deku because he's the only one that still have power. So he put his hand together on fire Kamehameha that completely erased the ship and when he did that his time is out in Super Saiyan God. But like he expected or remember the memories that Vegeta let him see he kept the power within him so he's far stronger than the others after that everyone fly back to the city they do the report because well they are heroes he saw she do his own report and inform the galactic patrol that they have to deal with the rest of the Frieza army and make sure that all the planets are taken care of because after Frieza was killed they are slowly taking over the planets that he was well running over but this just speed up the process after that peace returned to their world again but unbeknownst to them some people were watching the fight in a place where only dead can live the other world the saints that have god key goku and vegeta were able to sense the fight then vegeta said hmm nice job kid then goku reply told you vegeta vegeta tell him to explain goku reply when we were fighting Boo, I told you that we will build a race far stronger than the previous one and as equally proud. Well, it did took a couple hundred years, but, but I can say that our race is not dead. It just began a new chapter. Vegeta smiled and tell him, I think you're right, Kakarot. I think you're right. After that, everything returned to normal to Earth. After that, Shigaki got married, he got his kid. And after a while, Deku do the same with Bra. Baku do the same with Oraka and life moves on. But something else happened. Other Super Saiyans start showing. But that's story for another time. So I'm going to stop this what if right here. It was, well, a journey. Thank you guys for sticking with me through the end. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like always guys, peace.